Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week it's all about getting email into Todoist. Now, one caveat before we go any further, before anyone asks, no, I don't send email to Todoist. I have a different method that I use inside my mail app. But I know a lot of you out there do like to get email into Todoist and I want to show you a few ways using three different applications, that's Apple Mail, Gmail and Outlook, to get email into Todoist so you can action them later. Now before we go any further, I would just like to say if, we, if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into Todoist, Outlook, Gmail and Apple Mail now and show you how to get your mail into Todoist. Okay, so what I'm going to show you in this video are three popular standalone, well standalone-ish, uh, email applications. What we're going to do is show you how to get your email directly into Todoist. Now I'm going to start with Apple Mail. I know not all of you are using Apple's products and Apple's mail. This is the email application that I use all the time. Now I only came across this because I've been playing around with Apple's uh, reminders. No, I have no intention of moving to Apple reminders. But what I was curious about was can you now, and this is a now thing, drag and drop email directly to your Todoist from the desktop. So I'm using the desktop version. This is my real account. This is my desktop version of Todoist. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click add task. And I'm going to take this email here and we're going to drag it directly into the window there. To just add to where you can see the plus and I'm going to drop it. And then as you can see, it's actually formatted now so that there is a link directly back to this email. So I'm going to add the task and that's now going to give me a direct link. So if I close out my Apple Mail now, just to show you there's no cheating going on here, what I can actually do now is I can click on this and it will open up the email. Now this is something new and I'm not sure when it came uh, because it's not been one of the easiest ways to get email directly into Todoist, but you know, now we know you can just drag and drop email into it. You can also do this on iOS, particularly on your iPad, you can drag and drop email into Todoist. On the iPhone, of course, it's a lot more difficult because you can't split screen like you can do on an iPad. So that's one way of getting your email into your Todoist. Now, there is another way, and what I'm going to do is show you this, is if you go to, let's say I've got this email and I want to send it to my Todoist inbox, what I can do is click on forward and I can type in Todoist. Now, I have my Todoist uh, inbox uh, email right there, so I can just hit return and that will then send that directly to my Todoist inbox. Now, it might take a few minutes for it to come in, but it will be there. Now, for those of you who are curious, how do you get your inbox email address? There you go, it's just come in. Now, the thing is, what you'll notice is this is not clickable. And it does add a task and it does allow me now to open that. It won't allow me to open because I'm set up for my demo account in Safari. But that's just to give you an idea if you are set up in, if you are logged into your Todoist account in your browser, whether that's Chrome or Safari or Edge, then this will be a link, but it's not going to take you directly to the email. That's the thing to keep in mind. Now, how do you get your email address for Todoist inbox? Well, that's quite simple. Just open up your inbox, make sure you're clicked on your inbox right there. And at the three dots up at the top, you can get email tasks to this project and that will give you your Todoist email inbox. And incidentally, you can do that with any project that you have in Todoist, although you want to be very careful there because if you're directly sending, <clears throat> if you're directly sending 
emails to projects, if you're set up by project in your Todoist, you're going to miss a lot of tasks. You want to be able to process this, add a date, add a, tie, a label if you're using labels, make sure you're doing that. But just be very careful there. So that's Apple Mail. And that's something new. It's something I've just recently discovered. Now, let's have a look at what you can do in Gmail. Now, in Gmail, what you can do is you can get yourself the uh, Todoist add-on. So you want the Todoist Gmail add-on. And what you'll see when you add that to your Gmail account, like I've got here, you now get this little button here, add to Todoist. When I click on that, uh, it's going to give me this. I think I've zoomed in there somehow. Um, let me just uh, can I? There we go. It's pulled that back. So now what I do is, as you can see, it's giving me the syntax exactly right. It's giving me a website address. So HTTPS mail Gmail. So it will get, take me directly to this email. When I hit add task, that's going to go straight to my Todoist inbox. As you can see, it's set up for inbox. I can change the project if I wish right there. I can change the schedule. I can add a date to it. I can do whatever I actually want to this one. It's basically Todoist is running in, as you can see, it's basically like adding a task to my Todoist. And also with the Gmail add-on, I'm going to discard that task, but the Gmail add-on, you can see that you get all your tasks set up in there as well. So that's absolutely cool. This is my demo account, so that's all set up because I've I don't generally send email to to do it. So there you go. That's the Gmail way. And as I say, all you need to do is get the Gmail add-on from the Play Store in Gmail, and then you're good to go. Now, what about Outlook? Now, I had a look at Outlook. Now, unfortunately, Microsoft have kind of two versions of Outlook. They have an Outlook for Windows, of course, which is very, very feature-rich. And they have a new Outlook for Mac OS. Now, I'm not a big Outlook user. I use Apple Mail all the time. But as I was playing around with this, I discovered that you can now get add-ons. And if you go to, if you're on the Mac version, if you go to the add-ons, you can get add-ons. You can get the Todoist add-on for Outlook. So when I hit click on that, add to Todoist, um, I can click on that one. And this is the, the, I can now add all this sort of things here. Now, there is a problem though. I notice, and this may be only available on Mac because this is my, uh, my company account. So this is going through calpoline.com, which is backend is Gmail. This isn't going to allow me to create a link back to Outlook. When I add the task, it only gives me the title of the email. So I only get this right here as the email. So I haven't found this to be particularly useful if you want to be able to click on it and go straight to the email. But there's another option. I think if you're using Outlook, for example, and you're using Microsoft Mail, Outlook Mail, Exchange Mail, I think it is, uh, then it will click right back into the email itself, which is cool. So what you want to be doing, if you do like to be sending email directly to your your um, to Todoist, then make sure that the app, the email application that you're using might actually give you direct support to Todoist because Todoist has done a lot of work on this. As I say, it's not something that I do. I, I have something as, uh, if I actually go back here, you can probably see in here, I have this folder right here. It's called my action this day. This folder itself is the most important. Actually, you can probably see it better. Whoa, where are we going? Because oh, It's not going to let me go back to where I want. There we go. So I have this action this day folder. Let me just move this run out. This is basically where all my actionable email go. So for me, it's just a no brainer. I don't need loads and loads and loads of email in my to do list. All I need is this folder and I can go directly to that. I just have a single task in to do list, which tells me each day to clear my action this day folder. So there you go. I wanted just to give you a summary of all the ways of getting email into to do list. If you like to do that, then there are um, there are a lot of ways of doing it and it's a really it's getting better and better and better as to do is continue to tweak and improve their application. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week.
Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work and that's what the time sector system is all about it's going to change your whole belief system about way the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when when you are going to do the task and let's be honest it doesn't matter how motivated inspired or how urgent something is if you don't have time to do it it is never going to get done and that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.